In this recording, I am going to demonstrate how to Ole link Analytica to Excel, compute something in Excel, and then bring the result back again. We'll try this and see if we can uh, maybe just cover things from examples. I think in this example, it's better to see the whole process done than to just see the end product because some of the paste specials and saving and stuff is is sort of critical. So I'm just going to make an array here. Let's make let's try uh, ten rows and um, five columns. Yeah, dot dot five. Uh, we have some input here that we can change and some array that we're going to link over to Excel. Let's just make it randomly populated. So there's our data. I'll pivot it so that it's rows and columns. And then we'll have an array here, call it B, that is what we're going to bring in from Excel. It's going to also be indexed by rows and columns. Okay, now we got to launch Excel. Uh, Microsoft Office, Excel. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. Okay, finally launched. And now we're going to get it to fit on the screen. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to bring up the result table for A. Hit copy. Select everything. Hit copy. Go over to Excel. And this will be input from Analytica. Okay, so right here we're going to go paste special. Select paste link. This one text, Unicode text, doesn't really matter. Analytica sends it out in text. Okay, and then here's some um, transformation. All I really want to do here is do something where we take the values up here and let's multiply by 77. Okay, you do whatever. And so we just want to copy our 10 by 10 table down like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the resulting values in Excel that are computed from our input. We're going to copy these. We're going to go back to Analytica. We're going to go into our edit table for B. And we're going to go paste special in Analytica. Paste link. Okay. So what we have now is we have the values coming in from Excel. Now it's hard to see an, everything on the screen all at once, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over and I'm going to change X, which is the input to everything, right? I do that. And what happened there, you notice that B updated. So what happened there was A generated a new set of values. It sent them over to Excel. Excel recomputed the transform values, sent it back to Analytica, and we see that reflected in our array B. Okay, let's do it again. So we change this to one. It's going to set a new set of random values. Okay, sends it to Excel back again. At this point, none of these things are saved. This is where things, there are a few little things that get tricky here. Um, so let's go ahead and save this model. I'll save this as, um, in a temp directory, as oledemo1.ana. And I'll save the Excel file also in C colon temp Olay demo 1xls They don't have to be the same file. That's, I'm just doing that because, you know, it's the same demo. But um, nothing magical about the names. Okay. Those are both saved. So now let's suppose that we actually shut both of these down. Now here... We actually do want to say, uh, save these changes again because when I quit Analytica, because what happened is when we save the Excel file, it updated the file name. So if Analytica wants to open the Excel file in order to extract the data, it's going to um, no, need to know where it was saved at. So anyway, uh, we close Excel here. Okay, now one thing to look at is let's look at Task Manager and see Analytica will be shut down, of course, but I find that Excel doesn't always shut down. Okay, it does. It did now. Still has this nasty habit of running in the background. Okay, so we did that. Now let's go ahead and let's start up Analytica first, and let's reload our Olay demo. Okay, and 
it's waiting now for something. Okay, this workbook contains links to other data sources. Yes, we know that. So let's update. Yes. Okay, so it's updating the links. Now, in the process, it has actually launched Excel in order to update those links. But Excel, unlike Analytica, will actually open in the background without an interface. And this gets a little tricky on the Excel side. Okay. Um, okay, so let me... Excel as an it's like the Excel engine is running. Okay. If we actually open up our edit table for B here, okay, you'll see that it's got a set of values. They're different than before because I was using random here to generate A, so and everything updated it generated new random values. Okay. Oops, um change this to a two. And you can see the B actually changed. So what happened there? We changed it to two. It Recomputed A, generated a new set of random values, shipped those over to Excel, computed the transformation, shipped it back to Analytica, and reflected those in the variable B. Okay? So each time we change it, we see that whole thing happen. Okay? So it is updating. But now Excel is not visible right now. You might want to go to Excel and make some changes. Okay? So the best way of doing that is to actually go into the Ole Links menu of Analytica, select this, and say Open Source. Okay, and that will open Excel in a modifiable fashion, which is probably what you want. But I'm going to show you before we do that the other way that you might open Excel that gets kind of confusing, which is from the menu. So you say I come over here, I open Excel from the menu. Excel takes forever to launch, of course. There we go. Okay. Um, over here it says open. Hmm? I haven't noticed that before. Let's click on that. Okay, and it comes up and it says it's locked for editing. It will only let me open it in a read-only fashion. And there it has other data sources. I update, get them all, blah, blah, blah. But it's read-only, so I can't modify the stupid sp stupid spreadsheet. Okay, so that's um, that's a pain. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close this without saving, and Let's look at the task manager here. You, actually, if you look at the task manager here, you'll see that Excel is actually running. Okay, it's actually in the background running, even though there's no interface anywhere on my screen. Okay, so here's the trick. Now I said the best way to opening opening it is to go to preferences, not preferences. Go to Olay links, and click on the link and hit open source. And look at that. There's the Excel interface, and it opened in a normal, changeable fashion. Okay, so um. Just some tricks of the trade. Theoretically, you should be able to open Analytica or Excel first when you have them both saved. Okay, um, but uh, okay, so that's that. Now I will mention for this kind of stuff uh, in Analytica Enterprise. If you have Enterprise, the spreadsheet functions are much better options to use. I find Excel linking to be a little bit on the flaky side. That's uh, really more a property of Olay linking in any <laughs> scenario, not just Analytica. Um, these spreadsheet functions are by far much nicer. So if you look on the Analytica wiki, they're on the database menu in um, spreadsheet range is one of them. They're on the database menu in Analytica. You can find them there, but they're on they're on this one. Functions to read Excel worksheets, and there's a function to write Excel worksheets. So um, anyway, if you learn how to use these, there's a webinar on that. They just feel much more solid. And to me, th that's my preferred way of doing it over Olay linking. But if you don't have, if you're using professional, you're kind of stuck with Olay linking. That should do it for now. And um,